Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Today's little video is all about double stops, specifically sixths. Now if you don't know what a double stop or a sixth is, well, I'm about to explain. Basically, a double stop is what you get if you play two notes together. That's it. And a sixth is a double stop where both of the notes that you're playing together are six scale steps apart. There you go. Who said it was difficult? Um, now, the kind of licks that you can come up with using double stops are massively useful in uh, blues, certainly, country, um, classic rock, rock and roll, rockabilly. It's hard to think of a style of music where these aren't going to be an asset to your lead guitar playing, so they're well worth learning. And another interesting little point is that um, the theory, if you like, which underpins how double stops work is exactly the same as uh, the theory which underpins lead guitar harmony parts. Basically, if you play two notes together on the same guitar, you're playing a double stop. But if you play two notes together, one on one guitar and another guy playing it on another guitar, then you have a harmony part and it's the same rules about how the notes combine. If you find yourself in a band, for example, where you have to uh, cover a song which has a harmony guitar part in it, but you're the only guitar player, then you can often get a pretty close facsimile of the finished product, if you like, simply by playing um, a double stop line. This is something that I can speak from personal experience. Years ago I was in a band where we were doing uh, an old Bad Company tune which had a harmony guitar part in it and I was the only guitar player and I got a pretty good um, facsimile, as I say, of the uh, of the original recording just by using double stops. So there you go. Anyway, on with the lesson. Um, we're going to look at all of the examples today in the context of playing over an A 7th chord. I'm kind of imagining here that we're going to be doing this in a bluesy context, so perhaps a, a 12 bar blues in A which would have an A 7, a D 7 and an E 7 chord in it. So once you learn how to do what you need to do in the A 7 context, it should be pretty straightforward to transpose that to the D 7 and E 7 chords or to any other chord that you might want to play over in any other situation. So, without further ado, let's press straight on with a little bit of a look at how to find these double stops and what, what kind of makes them tick. Here's some info. Okay, here is an A7 chord, and you can see that the notes within that chord are A, C sharp, E, and G. And what we need to find is a scale which basically contains these four notes. Uh, we could choose the Lydian dominant scale. <laughs> Or how about the Phrygian dominant scale? Or maybe the A half step whole step diminished scale? But I think the one we'll go with, the one which is by far the most commonplace in everyday blues and music in general, out of those, is the A Mixolydian mode, which sounds like this. Now let's lay that A Mixolydian mode out along the length of, in this case, the third string on the guitar. There it is. And the next thing we're going to do is go up a sixth. Uh, basically, if we count the A as note one, then the sixth note up from that is the F sharp. So we're going to start on the F sharp and just basically go up the scale in the same way. Then what we're going to do is pair up each of these notes, the A with the F sharp, the B with the G, the C sharp with the A and so on. And that looks like this. And then, on the neck of the guitar, it looks like this. And this is how you could play that.
There you go, that was pretty easy to understand, hopefully. And uh, what you now need are some licks that you can uh, put all of this newfound knowledge into action with. So here's some of those. And you will, of course, find tabs for all of those licks in the description box below. You can download them in PDF format. Uh, also, in the description box below uh, this video, you will find a link to uh, a course I have on sale at the moment, Making the Modes Easy, which, if you're a regular viewer to these videos, I'm sure you will know by now, is exactly what it sets out to be. It's a way of making the modes easy. You get plain English jargon-free explanations of what's going on with the whole world of modes. You get uh, nice easy to learn accessible uh, scale patterns that if you're you know reasonably familiar with uh, pentatonic and blues scale shapes around the neck this should be uh, pretty easy to pick up on you get uh, solos that you can learn the you know full of licks the demonstrated in close-up and tabbed out and you get a bunch of jam tracks as well and it's all available from there that url and as i say that link is also in the description box below uh, this uh, course is getting uh, four and five star reviews on the udemy tuition platform now uh, plenty of people are saying lots of nice things about it so why not go and see what it's up all about for yourself or if you prefer some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition then get in touch with me via the details at the end of this video if you live on Teesside in the northeast of England then you can come along for a face-to-face -face lesson in this very room or wherever else you are in the world you can have a lesson via Skype and whichever way you do it your first lesson is free so what do you got to lose and with that I'll say thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit like, subscribe and the notification bell. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time around. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.